We are here in sunny Hanover at the world's largest metalworking industry exhibition. And we're going to bring you a snippet of some of the halls, the technology and the people involved. But next week, Renishaw is about additive manufacturing, it's about metrology. We're going to be on their stand live and you're going to see it next Friday. Welcome to Emo 2019. So I'm on the Makino stand now. Uh, one of the machines that's attracting attention here is this five axis, this D200Z, uh, sold by NCMT in the UK. But look, if we can just get uh, tight on the machine and go into the working area, you'll be able to see uh, the size and the types of parts that you'd actually machine on this machine. Uh, if you're looking at precision optical parts, medical industry, you know, uh, e even harder materials, these machines are for machining at high speeds to very tight tolerances. Yes, so what we've done, Mark, we, we're catering for the CNC lathe business, and with that, we've driven or static tooling. They use extensively the ER conical for a female connection. So we've introduced, firstly, uh, the EM style where it threads in totally. You use then a C spanner and a hook spanner there to tighten it in and then you have the added advantage of it being hydraulic so as normal as you would expect with a hydraulic chuck that the cylinder has to be within the H6 tolerance so we can go from six millimeters up to 20 and on the ER sizes from ER16 to ER32. It's not just all about your milling, your turning, your five axis machine but it's also about your surface finishing and your grinding machines here at United Grinding. They're here to assist you with the life cycle of your grinding requirements. So I'm on Romy's stand now having a look at their turning centres. Uh, if you've watched our channel and followed us um, over the years you'll know that we've done a lot with Romy. These machines look very very different. They've had a complete new look, a complete refresh. This is actually the G GL250M. This is a mill uh, a mill drill machine. I, I always, when, when we talk to Romy customers back in the UK, you always hear of machines that offer, are offering reliability and precision. You know, they, they barely miss a beat. And I think that's as a result of the fact that they build so many uh, high quality machines. They've, they've got it down to a T. Uh, what about this one? Twin spindle now. This is the GL300S. It's a sub spindle machine and it has a Y axis. Uh, on this machine. So if you're looking for one hit machining, if you're looking to complete parts uh, without having to move them from machine to machine. As you would expect from Mazak, there's an abundance of technology here. Yes, new machines, yes, new controls, but also this interesting automation system. And what I like about it is uh, shop floor space is a premium. They've gone up. They say good things come in small packages. I'm sorry, Paul. I'm sorry, Joe. Now, they're not wrong, the spinner microturn. What a fantastic machine in the smallest of footprints. What have we got here? We've got a milling head. Uh, the tool changer is from the top and you can see the tools being changed now. We've got a bottom turret for turning and even more milling capability with live tooling. This is a, an extremely fast and agile machine and it's all powered by a touchscreen Siemens control system. Gio, you call me big, but I think that you are rather boring. Have a look at this. What an application. We've seen some fantastic machines, but what about the parts as well? Look at this machine from Huachon. It's the Hitec 850L. Look at the size of that boring bar and the size of this particular part that is being, or is going to be demonstrated on here. This really is uh, a machine. We looked earlier at a big mill. This is probably one of the biggest lathes here. You see all sorts of machining centres here at Emo and this one is one of the largest we've seen. The part here is dedicated to the aerospace industry, 2,400 millimetres in width. I mean, that's longer than me. Now this is the latest and released at Emo 2019. We can't see through that at the moment because he's actually trying to sell a machine, but this is the big, now big, because this will take three tonnes in payload. These bars, 300 mil, but they will take part up to 600 mil, so great for your gears, shafts and things like that. That's working away in the background, but walk this way, if I can squeeze through here, we have to barge them through. Excuse me, gentlemen. Danke schön. That's me being multilingual. Here, the other big, so the, that first one was 65 kilo payload. 
This 70 kilo payload, so absolutely massive. This has got your three grip on there. You can see the size of billet in there. So absolutely huge and flexible because this is, well, they've shifted the robot arm on this one. So it's a very small footprint in terms of the actual machine and you can switch it between machines. So this will fit pretty much to any CNC machine and then you can move it around four machines. So it's a great bit of technology from CNC, well, from Halter CNC Automation. Now we know that Geo drones on a lot. Well, let's put them to the test. Uh, Geo, I'm going to put you to the test. Sorry to interrupt you. There you go, mate. You've got to tell us all about this. Well, well, I have been put to the test here. Can I press go? Yeah, sure. So what we have here, and I've only had two minutes, so it's, been explained, it's only been explained to me within the last two minutes. This is a, a drone that is scanning the footprint of the machine. This is a, a totally brand new innovation from Par Grupo Parpus. This, is, this technology has never been seen before. It can scan the entire footprint within two minutes. And if you have a look at this kind of example here, it kind of gives you an indication of what this, this technology is doing. Now, they've also got another machine um, here today, the roller linear technology, the mega fifth axis machine. You can find out more about both of these machines and both and more about that technology in the months to come because we'll be reviewing it in a lot more detail. Now we move on to the next machine now. Now this is quite a unique fifth axis machine configuration. In the with the head you have a, a tilting uh, B and a tilting A axis but then you've also got the table which also rotates as well. The configuration gives you a lot more accessibility around the parts. It can, you can manufacture so many different components on it from aerospace components, oil and gas, you name it, you can do it. It's a fantastic configuration. And again, we have videos on the MTD CNC site. Machine tool manufacturers are always aiming to make their machines as compact as possible. And here's a perfect example. Look at this from Kitamura. This is the MedCenter 5AX. Now you can purchase these from Dugard in the UK, but just look at the size, and not only the size of this machine in terms of its footprint, but what about the speed of it? It is an extremely nimble, high-performance five-axis machining centre in a very, very small footprint. Neil, Lindsay did the most amazing review and stole your funder she, on absolutely. the diamond burnishing tool. She did. She did a great job, and I couldn't have put it better myself. Diamond burnishing, if you want a, 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 a mirror-like finish, better than 0.4 RA, um, cut out a grinding operation, Call Cogstill, either pick up the phone or get on our website and give us a call. We can do it for you. I have MTD. Do you know what? At the end of a good day filming, you always need a little bit of help with your camera press, don't you? Yeah. So, what we've decided to do is give her the task to Lindsay to take us back to the press centre. I think it's fantastic. MTD's last day of emo today. Here's Chris in the background as well as Mark carrying using his camera, muscles. I might add. <laughs> carrying the camera. Um, our feet are hurting, but we're going to fly back later on this evening. It's been a great show, seen loads of technology, and today we've filmed, oh my goodness, I think the bus is going to run us over, um, the Renishaw Takeover show that's coming out on the 27th of September. Indeed. Put that date in your diary, half past 12, Can't wait. and look forward to seeing you then. Emo 2019.